Are you looking for the best binoculars? In this video, we will look at some of the 5 best binoculars on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Vortex Viper HD 8x42. Offering what we believe to be the best balance of performance and price, the Vortex Viper HD 8x42 is the best choice for those looking to invest in a quality pair of optics. Their high-quality glass created some of the brightest and clearest images in our testing. The only models we found to be better than the Viper HD in our image quality testing retail for multiple thousands, not hundreds of dollars. They also boast a 6.3-foot close focus range and are comfortable in hand, with a supple focus knob and an overall weight on the lighter side for a full-sized pair of optics. The Viper HD has a drawback, a higher price. They certainly aren't cheap compared to more budget-friendly options. However, if you're looking for high-end optical quality without spending a couple of thousand dollars on a more premium pair, the Viper HD is the best, most approachable choice. If clarity and ease of adjustment are your top priority, the similarly priced Nikon Monarch M710 by 42 edged just ahead in those metrics. However, it scored lower in all other metrics. At number 2. Swarovski EL 8.5 by 42. If you're seeking the best optical quality in a pair of binoculars that will likely become a family heirloom, then the Swarovski EL 8.5x42 is your best choice. This surpassed the other premium models in our testing, offering better image quality and superior comfort. Its ability to maintain perfect clarity and brightness across the entire image sets the EL apart, whereas most models leave some blurring at the edges. This creates an incredibly immersive image that makes us feel like we are just a few feet away from our avian subjects. Premium performance comes with a pretty hefty price. The Swarovski EL costs nearly as much as a used car, so it is more of an investment than a purchase. Still, if you're a serious birder looking for the absolute best or you're embarking on a once-in-a-lifetime safari, these will undoubtedly take your experience to another level. In addition, they were less expensive than the other premium models we tested, the Lycan Octavid 10x42 and the Zeiss Victory SF 10x42. At number 3. Nikon Monarch M58 by 42. The Nikon Monarch M58 times 42 is a great pair of binoculars offering brightness and clarity comparable to binoculars that cost considerably more. It provides a clearer viewing experience than its two closest and most comparable 8 by 42 competitors, with less edge blurring and more brightness. In all of our testing, we found the Monarch M5S offered the highest level of clarity and brightness before having to nearly double one's budget for a more premium model of binoculars. The Monarch M5 is an exceptional pair of binoculars that offer a terrific value for that exceptional performance, but there are a few areas we feel could use improvement. We tested other models at a similar price that were slightly more ergonomic or easier to hold. Other comparable models also offered a greater field of view and a marginal improvement in the close focus range. The differences aren't so significant as to impact your experience, and our testers can confidently say this is one of the best pairs of Binos in this mid-tier price range. Scoring just behind the Monarch was the Vortex Diamondback HD 8x42, which fared better in comfort, field of view, and close-range focus but lower in all other metrics. At Number 4. Celestron Nature DX 8x42 When shopping for your first pair of binoculars, sticker shock is common. If spending several hundred dollars on a new hobby makes you nervous, the Celestron Nature DX 8x42 is a perfect choice. The image quality is the best we've seen in this budget-conscious price range. It rivals models that cost more than twice as much. The supple focus knobs and easy eye cup adjustments continue the list of beginner-friendly features. We enjoyed the 7.8-foot focus range because it let us look at nearby butterflies and fascinating insects, so long as they didn't get too close, a big plus for days when the birds just aren't singing. Unfortunately, the low price also entails some downsides. The rubber coating of the Nature DX 8x42 feels lower quality than the premium models, and the hinges likewise feel a little less sturdy. 
The glass is also of lower quality, so low light situations yield slightly dim images. And yet, the large 42mm objective lenses help in these situations, meaning they perform better in low light than the compact models often found in the same price range. Considering everything, these gripes are minor, and we would wholeheartedly recommend the Nature DX 8x42 to anyone searching for a budget-friendly pair of binoculars. If you're looking to invest in better construction quality without going into the quadruple digits, the Vortex Viper HD 8x42 is another option we recommend considering. At Number 5. Vortex Diamondback HD 8x28. If you're hoping for an affordable option that is lightweight, compact, and of good quality, it's hard to do better than the Vortex Diamondback HD 8x28. Weighing in at 14 ounces, these still provide good optical clarity and an exceptional performance to weight ratio. Combine that with sturdy construction, a comfortable grip that is inherent in Vortex products, and a relatively low price, and you have the perfect option for backpacking birders on a budget. The only real downside of the Diamondback HD 8x28 is the lack of brightness, which is a sacrifice you have to accept if you want the small size and weight of 28mm objective lenses. In most situations, the lenses still gather plenty of light, but don't expect any miracles on an overcast pre-dawn morning. If you're seeking more brightness, the Nikon Monarch M5 will suit you better, offering the most brightness for the buck.